Johnny Turbo's Arcade presents... How are you feeling? You got John Riggs here, and did you know Data East made a mashup game called Heavy Burger? Not a lot of people are talking about this game, but it's called Heavy Burger, like Heavy Barrel and Burger Time. And it plays kind of like a capture the flag, where you have to make your way all the way to the other side of the game, I guess. Or games? You'll see what I'm talking about here. Four players simultaneous, if you'd like. And kind of like Nidhogg, where you have to like make your way through the other side, but then the other player can grab the money bag and take it through their other side. That's how this game works out. You have your gun that launches these cheeseburgers at your opponents. But the cool part is you have to make your way through these other classic Data East games. You know, so like the Burger Time area has these burgers that are dropping down, uh, the other enemies that are there to get in your way. On through to Side Pocket, gotta watch out. Even Block and Chase is represented through here. Fortunately, you can blast through these walls as needed. You <laughs> even got Karate Champ. <laughs> and the other opponents in Karate Champ will also want to uh, take you out too, so watch out for them. Of course, Heavy Barrel, personal favorite of mine. And finally, ending up in Bad Dudes, where you'll have to make your way to the bank, deposit the money bag, and then you've won that round. Now this one's super unique, but the Johnny Turbo's Arcade has 17 games available right now for the Nintendo Switch, and in this video, we're gonna cover all of them. This video is not sponsored or endorsed in any way from Johnny Turbo's Arcade. I just said, hey, there's 17 Johnny Turbo's Arcade games. They were all on sale. So I was like, well, I already had a couple of them from review copies, and I'll just get the other ones, and let's just do a big old video covering all the games. Not only do I love covering games for the Nintendo Switch, but I'm also a huge VR gamer, and I love covering retro gaming mostly on this channel, like Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, what have you. I promise you don't want to miss out so make sure you're subscribed and hit that bell icon notification we're doing at least two videos a week you don't want to miss out on anything the cool thing with all these games is you can optimize your screen settings you can do scan lines you can do composite rgb maybe even what it looked like when you played on a vhs if you'd like and you also have your width settings so you can like fill up the whole tv screen or just do that four by three ratio and a few games you can even play vertically if you'd like it has that option for the purpose of this video all of the games are going to be the four by three and they're all going to be without scan lines. Another kind of downfall about these games is that the A and B buttons are swapped. So if there's a game that you know requires jumping and punching, then the jump button is where the punch button should be, and the punch button is where the jump button should be. This is kind of a big deal for me because I didn't want to suck any more than I had to on a lot of these games, but with the Nintendo Switch that you can remap the buttons, shouldn't be an issue. Starting off with Night Slashers, an awesome beat-em-up here. The cool thing with this beat-em-up is you're beating up zombies. You gotta love that. And it plays as your very typical arcade-style beat-em-up. You got your punches and kicks, you got your jump. I love the way these enemies dissolve. You do have your special move when you need to use it. Some pretty cool bosses in this game too. And Night Slashers, if you love beat-em-ups, it's definitely worth checking out. This one might be a familiar one to most. It's Caveman Ninja. You might know it better as Joe and Mac. It's a fun 2D platformer as you play as these caveman ninjas, <laughs> I suppose. And you start off with your little axes, but you can upgrade to like different weapons along the way too. Lots of fruit, which will give you your life back. Love the cartoony graphics in this game. It's just a decent game. It's a decent platformer. It's Joe and Mac, or it's Caveman Ninja on this. And quick side story that nobody asked for, Joe and Mac was the first Super Nintendo game I ever rented. Yeah, I still remember that. Now, they also have a sequel on here called Joe and Mac Returns. Curious that one of them's Caveman Ninja, and this one actually literally says Joe and Mac. Uh, this does not play like a typical sequel. This one plays more like a Bubble Bobble style game. It's your puzzle platformer. You clobber your enemies over their head, you stash them in your bag, and then you <laughs> unleash them from your bag uh, to roll them out and defeat the other enemies. And if you do multiple enemies, you'll get a better throw or a bigger throw to knock down more enemies. There is your lady that you can save in the levels too, and she'll give you maybe some items or some extra fruit and stuff like that, extra points. And not much more needs to be said about this game, but I mean, I love this style of game, so always happy to see this. Although the thumbnail looks like a sports game, it is totally not. You gotta check out Nitro Ball. Nitro Ball plays more like a Smash TV, where you're shooting all these enemies in all these random directions and you're getting all the prizes, all the upgrades. Your prizes are like literally cars and pianos and stuff like that, which I think is hilarious. And you move your way down your playing field. I mean, it's it, it has a sports theme to it, but it's totally not even a sports game. It's almost like a, you know, Running Man style, futuristic, you know, fight for your lifestyle game show. Super fun, this game is. Check out Nitro Ball, <laughs> part of the Johnny Turbo's arcade collection. This one's on the Nintendo Switch. I'm a huge fan of these next two games. This is Gate of Doom. 
It's that top-down kind of gauntlet-ish, but not really gauntlet. You choose your player, your players that have different things, like, you know, maybe one of them is immune to poison, maybe one of them is stronger than the other ones, maybe one of them has more magic ability than the other one. And as you make your way through, you build up your magic meter. Now, the fun part about this game is what page the book is on when your magic meter fills up, that's what magic you use. And you want to make sure that you put it on a good one, or else you'll, well... <laughs> I should have waited, huh? Some pretty big bosses here. Fun time in this game. Again, these are arcade games on the Nintendo Switch, so if you die, no problem. Just hit the insert coin button, you can keep on playing. And I love the fact that games like this, when you start over, like when you continue, you can be a different person if you'd like. Just to check them out, you know. Gate of Doom's a fun one. And its sequel is super fun. Now, I don't know if you're seeing what I'm seeing. This game on the Nintendo Switch does have a couple of like graphical glitches. I mean, almost like a little screen tearing here and there, a little stuttering here and there. The game still plays fun. I mean, it's fine, but it is something that you need to consider uh, before you pick this up, just in case. I, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you. But it plays very similarly, where you just go through the levels and you, you know, you get your items and build up your magic, and you know, your magic is depending on what page the book is on. Yeah, it's, it's, it's more of the same, but that's a good thing. Hey, what about Sly Spy? Now, Sly Spy in some regions is called Secret Agent, so if it looks familiar to you, that'd be why. You play as a bootleg, Americanized version of James Bond, and that's all right by me. This game's actually a lot of fun. I I'm a big fan of this game. I like it because there's multiple stages uh, that are pretty unique, or some of them are anyway. You know, like the very first stage, you jump out of a plane. You know, the next stage, Lincoln Memorial, no big deal. <laughs> Killing off the bad guys here. And then onto like a motorcycle stage where you're like, you know, shooting the guys, or you can also like aim yourself up or, you know, lean to the side to dodge their bullets. Sly Spy is a fun one. Curiously, no Burger Time in this collection, but there is Super Burger Time, and Super Burger Time is a lot of fun too. Now in Super Burger Time, instead of just walking over the food items, you have to jump on top of them to make them drop down to the next level. And of course, you're at the end, you're trying to just create these giant monstrosity, you know, cheeseburgers. This one even has new items that you can use, and there's plenty of items dangling from the sides of the screen too, so uh, pretty handy that, you know, you're not just limited to your pepper. You can even pick up like a cast iron pan. <laughs> go all tangled on them, you know? If you like Burger Time like I did, I think you'll dig this one. Oh my goodness, look at the size of this burger. If you ever drive through Yakima, Washington, swing on by Miners, you'll find a cheeseburger this size. This is Too Crude. You might know it better as Too Crude Dudes for the Sega Genesis, sometimes in the arcade called Crude Buster. This game's cool. It's a 2D beat-em-up, but you can pick up, like, cars and stuff to throw at your enemies. I love it. One of those games even more fun on a two-player game. And you just gotta make your way through the level and clean up New York, apparently. I love the enemies in this game. You have guys who like look like Jake the Snake Roberts or like John Finley from Tiger King. I'm, I've always been a fan of this game ever since I first played it on the Sega Genesis and cool to play it now on the Switch. Express Raider is kind of fun. You play as someone who's jumping on a train <laughs> to, to steal your money. This is one of the first Street Fighter style fighting games I've ever played, even though it's not really Street Fighter like. Because the more you hit them, the more their meter goes up and then once it's all the way up, then they fall. Now, if it goes the opposite direction, then you fall. So instead of having a life bar, you have like a struggle bar in a way. And then there are even other modes where like you're alongside and you're shooting your gun through the uh, through the doors here. So uh, a lot of fun with this game. You wanna check out Express Rider. No, Express Raider, sorry. Interesting cover shooter in the game Shootout. You ever played Gears of War? Well, it all started with Shootout. <laughs> you're hiding behind your oil can. You can move away from the oil can and kill the other enemies too, but you're just hiding there and you gotta shoot the other guys before they shoot you. And there are civilians, do you wanna shoot them? Of course. But cool to see classic arcade games like this that you can uh, play right now, yeah. We got a shooter in SRD, or Super Real Darwin. Well, it just plays as your basic, uh, you know, flying vertical shooter here. Kill some enemies and you can kind of upgrade or evolve your ship to, uh, you know, do better. Doesn't make me suck any less, but you know. It starts out looking and playing like a very typical mediocre shooter, let's be honest. Um, however, this game is pretty addicting because you, know, you have the above ground stuff, even the, the down low. You might see like a lizard, so you can like drop something on them, get the DNA from that. Yeah, pretty interesting game this one is, so might be worth checking out, especially if you love shooters. We got Fighter's, Fighter's history. history. We don't need to mix our words. I'm not going to insult your intelligence. It's a Street Fighter 2 clone. Come on now. I'm going to try playing as this uh, Bruiser Brody looking guy. All the way down to the fuzzy boots. Are you kidding me on this? But it's a Street Fighter 2 clone. So, you know, if you love Street Fighter 2, it was the perfect game back in the day when he's like, I played Street Fighter 2 to death, but I want to play more of it. Well, you go straight to this game or games like this. 
<laughs> Came out during a time when Street Fighter 2 was the king of the roost, and um, it's actually, and it's done pretty well. It's done pretty well. I can't, I can't complain. I mean, I can, but I won't. <laughs> I'm not gonna complain How about that. It's okay. It's an okay fighting game. Even a few NES games that you may have played, but now you can play them at the arcade version. We've got Bad Dudes up on tap first. It's a 2D beat em up. It's a 2D fighting game. And this was one of the first ones I remember playing and just really loving. Now it's funny because it's like, you look all awesome in your like black tank top and white pants and you use your nunchucks like a whip almost. <laughs> it was like, I, I have these nunchucks. I don't know how to use them though. I'll just <laughs> toss them at someone. I absolutely love it when other video game characters make cameo appearances. So the fact that Karnov is the first boss in this game, I was like, oh yeah, Karnov. I love Karnov. And it has, the music is, you know, kind of sounds the same a little bit sometimes. Bad Dudes is just an all time classic. Feel free to grab this game, but only get this game if you're a bad enough dude. Another classic in Heavy Barrel. This one, honestly, a little hard to control because in the arcade you have your uh, 360 pivot to, that you can walk and then shoot in whatever direction. So in this one, you either have to hit the L and R buttons to rotate left or rotate right, or you can use your right analog to rotate left or rotate right. And that was easier for me, but still a little awkward. So it's not quite like a twin stick shooter. It would have played a lot easier if it was, uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll be happy with what we got. We'll get what we get and we won't throw a fit. How about that? Heavy Barrel is the name of this giant gun that you're trying to put together throughout this game. You don't need to put it together to beat this game, but that's one of the fun things that you can do. You'll find these little lockers along the way and you'll pick up keys and you can use the key to open the locks. Sometimes you'll get better grenades, sometimes you'll get more firepower, or like, you know, like a flamethrower or something like that. Um, and then sometimes you'll get pieces of the Heavy Barrel. And when you get all the pieces of the Heavy Barrel together, you can use the Heavy Barrel, which is just, just giant gun but it only lasts for a short amount of time. You don't get to keep the gun for the entire rest of the game, so. Breakthrough is a game I suck at. I keep coming back to it because I think I can do better and I can't, but I'm gonna do the best I can in this playthrough. So you're driving, you wanna, dr my problem with this game, just like my problem with Spy Hunter, is I just wanna drive as fast as possible and you can't in this game if you wanna live. You drive around, you shoot the other enemies, you can shoot the mines, and then you have a jump mechanic, and you actually jump up, and your jumping is really weird. When you jump, it's like you go kind of straight up and then straight back down with your nose up in the air. I don't know, <laughs> but that's how you—that's how you get through. That's how you jump over these uh, jump over these rocks, or later on jump over you know like holes in the bridge and stuff like that. But if you play Breakthrough on the NES, now you can play Breakthrough the arcade version and maybe do a little bit better. In fact, I think the S arcade one plays better than the NES one, so I'm already doing better than I usually do. If you like this style of video where I'm just showing off a bunch of games all at once, uh, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Neo Geo, arcade games, and a whole lot more, a whole lot more arcade games even, this whole playlist of must-play games right up there for you. Thank you for subscribing, and I thank you for watching, and thank you for being you. I'll see you real soon.